Uh, Joe and Davey Corrigan are the owners. Um, I'm the chef. Um, we've got uh, ooh, numerous amount of other stuff. We've got uh, Joel, the other uh, chef in the kitchen, he's um, full time. Um, we've got Lisa, the manager, out the front. Uh, we're just sort of building a building a team gradually. You know, we've been open for seven months. Very scary. Yeah, um, the first few months were very intense. Um, bit of self doubt there, here and there, and um, not sure whether we'd be whether the public would uh, take to us, but but um, they have, they have. Okay, well, um, I was working on coffee first, and then we needed um, an extra chef, and um, so she, yeah, she came on board, and um, yeah, we just kicked off. We become great friends. Um, yeah, we hung out a lot out, um, uh, you know, after work and that sort of stuff, and uh, it's always been revolved around food. You know, it's always been cooking for each other, or, um, that, that sort of thing. And um, she's actually the one that kind of inspired me to go across to London, and you know, because she just come back from there when I first met her, and um, yeah. So I went across to London in 2004. I've been cooking for about 12 years. I started off, um, did my apprenticeship in Tasmania. And um, in 1999, I moved over to Melbourne and I was cooking uh, for Ridges Hotel chain, believe it or not. And I got out of there once I qualified and I cooked out in Donovan's, did a short stint down there, um, cooked at Sati. In the city, um, I went and moved on then to Coffea, and that's where I met Joe. And I was there for a few years, and um, that was fantastic. Doing a lot of uh, market-driven um, food, you know, a lot of produce-driven food, um, shopping at the markets. You know. uh, a lot of the food that we do um, is inspired by my travels overseas, um, eating out in London. Um, it's quite sort of British in. Um, and by that I mean, uh, it would be sort of typical, what you typically find in a gastro pub in, in London. Um, so yeah, a lot of Spanish influence. Um, modern, we call it modern British, but yes, yeah, it's, it's, we, we do a, a, it's got a bit of um, Mediterranean uh, influence with a bit of a Middle Eastern vein going through it as well. So um, yeah, we use a lot of uh, spices, we make our own yogurt, we, um, do wood-fired goat on the barbecue and that sort of thing. So a lot of wood-fired food. Bill, you can um, be quite creative with the special with the specials and know that they'll just sell, and um, the customers like that as well. I really enjoy um, just being given a, 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 a heap of ingredients and just sort of being a little, uh, quite creative with them and just sort of um, cooking by the seat of my pants. And I think I'm quite creative. Um, I'm not very regimented in the way I cook, so um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the, it's, uh, it's going along swimmingly actually, so we've um, got quite a buzzy little restaurant now. So Really great coffee. Hmm, I would probably go not far from my house, um, actually. I I think gingerly do a quite a good coffee. Uh, Cafe Ray in Brunswick do a quite a very good coffee as well. So um, yeah, yeah, somewhere local, somewhere that's easy for me. Yeah, the coffee's hot. It's got to be good.